Hello everybody and welcome back to TJ's Lego Room. Um, I had a request to do a little more in-depth video on the pickup speeder. And so here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I did build a couple of these guys here. Some uh, moisture evaporators that I can put on a little landscape. Build a little space farm, which should be fun. Working on some space tractors. <laughs> as uh, some of you uh, suggested and guessed that I'd be working on, which, yep, you're right. Going to build some space tractors. So, all right. Um, where to begin? So I did show you how to do the front of this grill, uh, this front grill, uh, last time uh, on one of my past videos. So if you want to see that, go ahead and look at that. Um, I'll do a deconstruction real quick. Most of it's actually really simple. Um, you will maybe be surprised. So uh, I will show you these boxes here real quick. Now I've actually been meaning to redo these because they don't come apart very easy. Um, while they're supposed to be able to uh, come in and off, off and on on the pickup, it, they're actually just not very easy to take apart. Um, oh, actually they're coming apart okay. <laughs> so we got uh, the boxes right there. You can see I've just got one of those... Um, upside down slopes that we're sticking on there uh, and then we're just using a 1 by 2 brick with two on the side and the double wedge double cheese wedge on top there now this is the one part that was uh, that might be a little harder to make and I apologize I usually try to make my stuff pretty easy but it's this little piece right here this 2 by 2 modified tile I think is what it's listed on Bricklink uh, just with two studs on top um, it's not a jumper, it's just got half of it flat and half of it studded. This is a really cool piece. I don't have a ton of them, but I did have two of them in light bluish gray, and so I used them here. And then we, you can see we used a Technic brick with the two holes right there, and that gave us our uh, beginning part to do that. And then, you know, just got these uh, modified bricks right here, the clip and the bar. And then one of these nice little things, which I have an entire bin of, and I don't know what to do with. So... <laughs> So that's pretty easy, and then these boxes just fit right on using those 2x2 uh, two two jumpers so that they go together pretty well. And then this one on the back kind of locks it in, and there you go. And then that just slides uh, right in, like that. And it does wobble a little bit, but when you're playing with it, you don't really notice. And it's a speeder, it's supposed to be low to the ground, and you know, it's not a spaceship flying around and making all these banks and turns and flippity-doos. So, this one's the, the same, just mirrored. All right, let's take these uh, back pieces off, and I have to take them off one at a time because they keep pulling these modified plates off. <laughs> so I'm using these 1x4 modified plates with the centers. Uh, I actually have a lot of spare of these. Um, just some slopes, some simple stuff. The uh, cockpits here, the windscreens, are uh, flanked by these one by three or 2x3 uh, wedge plates so that's how that works and I did cheat just a little bit and now you're gonna know how uh, this windscreen can actually drop down too far so you got to kind of balance it there uh, if you put this one down first the back one the front one will you know pretty much line up perfectly <laughs> but yeah that is something for some reason this uh, this little piece right here little black ingot there it just doesn't doesn't stop it the way I want it to you know, just weird. Oh well. Uh, then of course here you can see I just used some of those um, slide plates. And then underside, it's really simple, just three of those. And you can see I've got two different kinds. <laughs> we have the ones with the Technic holes and the ones without. So these are 4x6. Um, oh shoot, I'm not actually sure what these are called. But they're used often in boat pieces. Um, some starships like uh, the old X-Wings used to use them. Um, so that's not really hard. You can see I had a couple a plate on top of that with this modified brick right there just to give it the height so that it came up to the windscreens and made it look a little bit tighter, a little bit nicer. Um, and then of course I'm pretty sure the other part that everybody wants to know about is, uh, is this section right here where we've got the plates on top and then these sideways slopes. So the technique that we use on those is using the bracket pieces. Here, let me just grab one real quick. 
got a whole bin of these guys. These uh, bracket pieces, which I love so very, very much. And they're just stuck on there. Let's see. I'm wondering how I can take this apart nicely. All right. So here on the engines, uh, these are actually really simple to do. Um, we're just using a, te a Technic bar going through, just capping it with a, a cone on the end there, cover it up, give it a little bit of dynamic. We use a wheel here, some of these large, I don't even know what these are called actually, they might be some sort of a wheel, and then some of these big Technic wheel thingies, and then uh, just a 2x2x2 two by two by two cone and a 1x2 round plate to seal that off. And then it goes on to one of these pieces. And these double cheese wedges, I mean, it actually fits really close there if you want, if you look at it. it creates a very nice seal right between those. I gotta say that, that was a complete accident, but a happy one, <laughs> to be precise. And then here we use those uh, upper brackets, the 1x2 uh, with two studs on the side, uh, brackets that go up. And then these slopes right here, you can see, are tied onto a plate. And above that plate is our, or behind that plate, are our two brackets. Now, there's actually one place right here I've been meaning to get into. So let's go ahead and get into that right there. You can see there was actually a hole all the way to the top of the ship. You can see it right here because I uh, I had to take those brackets out so I could put the pilot in. Let's go ahead and fix that right now, shall we? What do you guys think? Let's put a couple uh, of uh, four stud upper brackets right in there. Boom, look at that. Beautiful, nice transition there. We'll get this plate in there, just like that. And then I, I did the different uh, slopes here just to basically for decoration because I like visually interesting things and not always monocolor. I know the uh, Empire likes to do it that way, but I ain't no Imperial brat, that's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and do that on the other side. And while I'm doing this, I'll show you the top. The top's pretty easy. You can actually see through the plates here how I did that. You can see I've got this. Uh, double wedge plate so it's like a four by four wedge plate and it's got a cutout right here so I could uh, get some extra pieces and then a two by four wedge plate right there that's basically you know half of one of those and then just some regular plates and stuff underneath you got those uppers right there that are uh, doing good yeah just simple plating uh, not too much snotting going on here I think the real trick on uh, the snotting that I did was getting the measurement between here and there uh, just right. And so what it is, uh, if we count the studs, if you uh, watched my last video, every two studs is five plates sideways. So if we start here, and I use these same upper brackets so they kick it out that little, just that little piece right there, use the same type of brackets, um, then I know that if I'm going to go one, two, three, four studs across, I've got to be 10 plates high. Now these are three bricks high. Three bricks equals how many plates, kids? It equals nine. So you can see we're one plate short. So rather than putting a small plate on top, I decided to go on the thick end so that it would match up a little bit closer on this section. So you just have a little teeny bit of a lip right there um, that you can see right on the edge of that slope. But not a big deal. Not a big deal, especially when you're dealing with uh, some of these larger pieces. Getting it that close is uh, feels like an accomplishment of sorts. So then we, uh, once we've got that plate on these brackets here, then now our our system here is uh, ten plates tall, which lines up perfectly on the end right there, and then when we get our engine back on there, it kind of locks everything together. So it locks the top plates and locks the slopes all together. So they won't slide around and move. And it's a very solid build and uh, nice clean profile. Nice, nice clean directions on that. So uh, these guys right here are just, you know, those uh, two by two 
um, wedges, wedge slopes. Uh, and you can see it just ties right onto those uh, really nifty bricks that I showed you how to build that with. So anyway, that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, I know I'm not doing a, a complete breakdown of this like I did for my uh, ARC 170. Um, not sure if you completely need more than that. Let me know if you do. Uh, hopefully this is enough for you. I'll, uh, you know, the insides are pretty simple. Um, the chairs are completely removable. I mean, this guy comes out with a steering wheel because, you know, they don't like to let go. The backs of the chairs here are just a couple of slopes. Oh, that's a really old piece. Look at that. See, it's not even shiny anymore. That's some old brick right there. But, and then just a plate jumper and a wedge piece right there, cheese wedge. Um, inside just got, that's just a printed piece. Yeah, and then the rest of it is a lot of just internals. I've got a, these plates going across to hold those bottom pieces together. And then the, uh, the little grills here also help hold it together, but then can double as cargo space. If I just remove that, you know, you can throw throw a couple of, uh, yeah, look at that, fit perfectly. It's like I planned it that way, huh, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't plan it perfectly, but hey, come on, you can get a couple more in there, right? Look at that, look at that, no problem, super easy, barely an inconvenience. All right, hopefully that did it for you. Hopefully you learned something, hopefully, hopefully you learned you good. Um, yeah, let me know if this didn't work for you. If it didn't, I'm sorry. Um, I will try to do better on the next one. But I think I gave you enough of a view of all the different pieces around here and uh, took apart enough of it that it should be pretty pretty simple to figure out. You could probably build this exactly from what I did just by looking at it. So, uh, oh wow, look at that. I didn't even finish that. You can see all the way through. I meant to put some bricks in there to fill those spaces in, and I never did. Well, there you go. A little secret behind the scenes look at TJ's Lego room. Sometimes I forget stuff. Oh, and my comb popped off. All right. Well, thanks. Hopefully this worked for you. Hopefully this uh, gives you what you need so you can build something similar or build, uh, build your own version of it. And we'll see you next time for Space Tractor 3000. Bye.